I'm Abby Esparza with Photomanipulation.com and today I'm going to show you three tools you definitely don't use enough in Photoshop. If you like what you see, go ahead and show us with a like and even subscribe for new and exciting videos every week, five times a week. With all that, let's jump into some of my personal favorite lesser known tools. First, select subject found in the object selects upper toolbar. Right off the bat, I have a feeling you know this tool very well. Simply click and you have an instant selection of your subject. But it took me ages to give Photoshop a second auto selection chance, after a decade of giving me nothing but shoddy at best results. But the ever improving subject select tool is the AI I have been waiting for, specifically with the hair selections. Now you will still need to put refine edge to work and do some old fashioned manual cleanup. And of course, each image will react um, differently. But for quick selections, mockups, and more, it's become a go-to tool for me. An otherwise diehard pen tool user. Next, let's talk color lookup. These have been a part of my color grading workflow for seven to eight years now, and I just don't feel like they get enough love, tucked away in the adjustment layers panel. By the way, if you aren't, you really should be using adjustment layers. Let's go to window, adjustment, and then hit color lookup. In the properties panel, you will see a few drop downs. Let's focus on the first as that's where all the presets are and what we are after. Color lookups create quick and easy photo effects and like I said, you have a whole slew to choose from. Go ahead, take a scroll through. Mix and match, switch up layer modes, and adjust opacities to get intense color grades in just a matter of minutes. I always feel like a good pairing of color lookup layers and other adjustment layers, of course, really bring an effect together, like the frosting on a cake that helps hide all the loose crumbs. They give you tons of room to play, and I suggest you do. Number three, we have the forever underloved blend if, indicated by these two overlapping squares, if you spotted them earlier. Go ahead and create a curves layer and jack up those highlights. Now double click the layer right on the right side of the name. Up will pop the layer styles panel, and right at the bottom is blend if. Let's hold alt or option, I believe if you are on a Mac, and split and drag this toggle to the left. The curves layer is now being removed from the darker areas. We can drag the second half of the toggle closer inwards to make the fade more drastic and a bit harsher. You can do the same exact thing with the shadows using the opposite white toggle. That is what I did here in my color grade on this curves layer. Blend if is the perfect way to blend both light and color and can work on any type of layer, including this color lookup layer where I wanted everything but the highlights to be muted. However, do keep in mind these will work on text layers and image layers uh, just as well. Don't forget to try adding masks to really pinpoint the highlights and give it a try and get a feel for those sliders. And because I am a, such a generous person, I have a sneaky fourth for you and it's window, arrange, new window four. This will create a new instance of your current canvas. Now, this isn't a copy, but instead a mirror. Anything we do to one will show on the other. Now, this has tons of uses. My favorite being zooming one canvas in close while the other is zoomed out. Now, you can paint those small details while also seeing how they will look in, say, a thumbnail size image, or just zoomed out in general. If you dual screen a Cintiq paired with an extra wide computer monitor like me, then this is incredibly handy, and it helps you from getting lost in those details that simply aren't worth it, or may not even end up looking good once zoomed out. Check out Window, Arrange, New Window 4, and save yourself the constant zooming in and out. And that is what I got, three tools and a sneaky fourth, that I simply think are a little underutilized and underloved. If you have a top three or just a top one, tell me down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. With all that, like if you like, subscribe if you really like, and let me know what you'd like to see next. Because I have said it before, I like doing what I like, but I really like doing what you like. I'm Abby Esparza with photomanipulation.com. See you next time.